Thanks for listening to As We See It with Phil Hewlett and Friends here on KFWB News Talk 980. I'm Phil. Jennifer's here. Jay is here. Chris is here. And yesterday, when he was driving to the studio, our associate producer, Nick Wright, was listening to Mason in Ireland on another radio station, by the way. And he heard this. Uh, Dave Joseph is with us. He normally does our updates, but we, he's also, he, he is other job is that is the public address announcer for the Kings. Now, DJ, what is the name of the public address announcer for the Ducks? Uh, Phil Hewlett. Phil All Hewlett right. is the PA announcer. Okay. You should have a PA off. Exactly. <laughs> I think PA you two off. should have some type of a competition, yeah. and the okay. winner gets to do all seven games. Unlikely. With either team. Yeah. Unlikely. I'm just guessing here. <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? All right. I, I do love that idea. Not sure what the competition would entail, but let's explore it now a little. Joining us is the public address announcer of the L.A. Kings, Dave Joseph. Yes, Phil. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Look at you. All right. First, you're absolutely right. There is no way they would let either of us do all seven games. But, but assuming in some parallel universe that it was uh, possible, how would we compete? Yeah, I, I, that's what I was thinking when I asked the question. What would the actual competition be? What would what would be involved in that? And I didn't really have a good answer. And it was well, Jay's obviously... Jay's got one idea. What is it? Hey, Dave, it's been a long time. I didn't know that they call you DJ now. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to call you Dave. Call me a variety of names. <laughs> I I've been thinking about this since I I knew that you were coming on the program. I think we need to have dueling goal calls. And since you're our guest, yes. We need to allow you to go first. Yeah, good idea. Go for it, Dave. Okay. Los Angeles goal. His first in the playoffs. Scored by number eight, Drew Doughty. Hey, all right. All right. I'm, I'm writing I'm writing my score down. Jen, you write your score down. Chris, uh, yeah, you too. Yeah, but you know what? It's not fair because he's the audio. I mean, we have to we have to compare no, no, my you, audio. Will you just quit? Jen, geez. Phil gets home Which studio team are advantage. You on, anyway. well, listen, I, I know you're going to. Phil, I'm voting for you. I mean, Phil, I think you're the best. I well, watch <laughs> Ducks games on TV just in the chance I can hear you in the background. You can't vote anymore. <laughs> yeah, Jen knows okay, where her bread right. is buttered. All right, Mr. All right, Hewitt. All right. all right, here we go. Anaheim Ducks goal! Scored by number eight, Tamu Sonani! <laughs> you take notes there, Dave? DJ? Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. I love Phil. I, I love hey. everything about Phil. Phil hey. is the best. And I can continue breathing. Uh, <laughs> how, about, how about this? Maybe uh, best use of a sponsor name in a power play announcement. Or, or maybe best introduction of some kid riding on a Zamboni. Or how about this? Maybe best consistent use of restraint when describing some ice girl activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that one, that's for sure. That's rough, isn't it? Yeah, the, I, I personally, I enjoy the King's Disc Sport and Spine Power Play, which just rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> that way. <laughs> disc Sport and Spine, wow. Yeah, and I know you have yours, too, which I'm sure you enjoy. Yeah, the, the JMG Power Play. And that's yeah, a, that's it's a, it's a business security company. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about the series. I have to tell you, beating the Kings in the playoffs for Ducks fans is, I'm convinced, second only to winning the Stanley Cup. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. No doubt. Now, what's it like for Kings fans? Well, I think it would be, uh, it'd be fairly equal. This is, what we've all, this is what we've all been waiting for. I mean, it's been, what, 21 years since, since the Ducks have been in the league, and this has never happened. The Angels have never faced the Dodgers in the playoffs. The Lakers have never faced the Clippers. So now we finally have what we've all been waiting for. And, Phil, you know, I mean, regular season games are one thing when these two teams meet, and they're, the crowd gets into it. The fans are into it. There's such a rivalry, but once they meet in the playoffs, that rivalry gets amped up even more. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah, me too. It's going to be crazy, and I know we're going to get a fair amount of Kings fans inside Honda Center. You know you'll get a fair amount of Ducks fans inside Staples Center. So you you lose a percentage of the home ice advantage, but either way, it's going to be loud. Oh, sure. It's going to be loud in both buildings. I was there for uh, in Anaheim for the uh, the Dallas, a couple of games in the Dallas series, 
that's as loud as I've heard that building since you guys won the cup. It, so. it gets rocking. And here's what else, yeah. uh, Dave, and I've thought about this. Remember during the Olympics, hockey in the Olympics had a huge audience. And there were a lot of people that don't typically watch or follow hockey who get drawn into it. And I think at this stage of the game, a series between the two Southern California teams is the best thing that's happened to the National Hockey League in a long time. Oh, I think you're right. It's going to grab so much attention. It's going to grab so much attention locally, which is going to be important. Think of what it's going to do for youth hockey, how many kids are going to start playing. I mean, when the Ducks won the Cup, it did wonders for youth hockey. The Kings won the Cup. Youth hockey, you know, obviously went through the roof there. Not only that, but on the national stage, too, when you think of, you know, now we we start with 30 teams in the league. We go down to 16 for the playoffs, and now we're down to eight. So now all of the East Coast gets to watch the West Coast games and who's involved, two of the three teams in California. I love it. I think it's going to be great for the game. It is going to be great for the game, and I can't wait. The games are on Saturday, right, guys? Like, well, not just the first one is. The second game's on Monday, and then we go Wednesday, Friday, I think, uh, Dave. Is that correct? Uh, st- Saturday, Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Okay. Hey, That's do you hope lot. it goes seven, Dave? I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do. I think the longer it goes, the better. Obviously, I don't think anyone's getting swept in this series. Nope. Uh, both teams, the Ducks led the, the league in scoring during the regular season. The Kings allowed the fewest goals against. So Perfect. you've got high-flying offense. Uh, you've got just a, a smothering defense. You've got superstars on both teams. So, yeah, if it goes to distance, that, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, Dave, Joseph, Joseph, I wish you a great deal of luck. You mentioned 30 teams. You and I, sir, are two of 30 people in North America who get to do what we do. And I envy you. And, and I envy you as well. <gasps> right on, <laughs> right on cue, right on cue. I will see you Saturday night. So that's tomorrow night. I keep thinking it's Thursday. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow no, night. show up early. My call time's at two. It's a five o'clock game. Don't be late. I will be there. All right, Dave Joseph. Thanks a lot. He's uh, he's the public address announcer for the Los Angeles Kings and a great guy too. Yeah, great I, guy. I envy you both, by the way. Just throwing that out. Thank there. you. We're, while we're throwing envy around, I appreciate that. Okay, you guys should hang out and have beers, and 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 you can both talk like this. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Hello, Dave. <laughs>